If others would think as hard as I did, then they would get similar results. Isaac Newton. Truth is the offspring of silence and meditation. I keep the subject constantly before me and wait till the first dawning opens slowly, by little and little, into full and clear light. Nature is pleased with simplicity, and nature is no dummy. The seed of a tree has the nature of a branch or twig or bud. It is a part of the tree, but if separated and set in the earth to be better nourished, the embryo or young tree contained in it takes root and grows into a new tree. To explain all nature is too difficult a task for any one man or even for any one age. T.I.'s much better to do a little with certainty and leave the rest for others that come after you than to explain all things by conjecture without making sure of anything. All my discoveries have been made in answer to prayer. The best way to understanding is a few good examples. The wonderful arrangement and harmony of the cosmos would only originate in the plan of an almighty omniscient being. This is and remains my greatest comprehension. Physics, beware of metaphysics. The way to chastity is not to struggle directly with incontinent thoughts, but to avert the thoughts by some employment or by reading, or meditating on other things. I consider my greatest accomplishment to be lifelong celibacy. Live your life as an exclamation, rather than an explanation. If I have seen further than others, it is by standing upon the shoulders of giants. You have to make the rules, not follow them. What we know is a drop, what we don't know is an ocean. No great discovery was ever made without a bold guess. My powers are ordinary, only my application brings me success. If I am anything, which I highly doubt, I have made myself so by hard work. Gravity explains the motions of the planets, but it cannot explain who sets the planets in motion. We build too many walls and not enough bridges. Tact is the art of making a point without making an enemy. To me, there has never been a higher source of earthly honor or distinction than that connected with advances in science. In the absence of any other proof, the thumb alone would convince me of God's existence. Plato is my friend, Aristotle is my friend, but my greatest friend is the truth. Don't doubt the Creator because it is inconceivable that accidents alone could be the controller of this universe. Errors are not in the art, but in the artificers. It is the weight, not numbers of experiments that are to be regarded. Truth is ever to be found in simplicity, and not in the multiplicity and confusion of things. If I have ever made any valuable discoveries, it has been due more to patient attention, than to any other talent. Genius is patience. And to every action, there is always an equal, an opposite, or contrary action. An object that is at rest will tend to remain at rest. An object that is in motion will tend to remain in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. What goes up must come down. I believe the more I study science, the more I believe in God. A man may imagine things that are false, but he can only understand things that are true. As a blind man has no idea of colors, so have we no idea of the manner by which the all-wise God perceives and understands all things. A passion for calculus can unlock new worlds. This most beautiful system of the sun, planets, and comets, could only proceed from the counsel and dominion of an intelligent and powerful being. Inherent force of matter is the power of resisting by which everybody, so far as it is able, perseveres in its state either of resting or of moving uniformly straight forward. This much better to do a little with certainty and leave the rest for others that come after than to explain all things by conjecture without making sure of anything. Nothing can be divided into more parts than it can possibly be constituted of.
but matter I finite cannot be constituted of infinite parts. A thysum is so senseless. When I look at the solar system, I see the Earth at the right distance from the Sun to receive the proper amounts of heat and light. This did not happen by chance. Tact is the knack of making a point without making an enemy. What we know is a drop. What we don't know is an ocean. The proper method for inquiring after the properties of things is to deduce them from experiments. To myself, I am only a child playing on the beach, while vast oceans of truth lie undiscovered before me. I can calculate the motion of heavenly bodies, but not the madness of people. He who thinks half-heartedly will not believe in God, but he who really thinks has to believe in God. My powers are ordinary, only my application brings me success. We are to admit no more causes of natural things than such as are both true and sufficient to explain their appearances.